Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sam Publishing. Hey, what up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm back for another Wine Wednesday. Super happy to be here. Um, as you can see, I have an accessory on my wrist. Um, we are in Cabo uh, in Mexico celebrating our 15 year anniversary, me and my baby. Uh, shout out to Edie Sky uh, on Instagram, that's my baby. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, we're having a great time out here. I needed this, I needed a little bit of break, but of course, with that being said, I always want to bring you guys your show. So we got a Wine Wednesday. I definitely found a bottle that I think you guys will be interested in uh, for this Wine Wednesday. This is unique. This is going to be a fun one because this is actually Mexican wine. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Today we're talking about the Don Luis Zeto. Uh, this is uh, out of Baja, uh, Val de Guadalupe, uh, Baja, uh, Mexico. Um, and then this is uh, the Terra 2017. Uh, this is a Bordeaux blend, guys. Yeah, I'll say it again. This is a Bordeaux blend from Baja, Mexico. Uh, we're talking about 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, talking about 30% uh, Merlot, 10% Malbec, and 10% Petit Verdot. So this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying this. I have not tasted this wine, so this is totally like um, blind right now. And uh, let's see if I like it. And, uh, by the way, I had a amazing uh, Mexican Nebbiolo yesterday and I have it's like a quick like minute uh, review I'll definitely be posting that eventually uh, it was fun man I, I mean it's of course it's not Barolo or uh, Barbaresco or even Latalina but it's delicious it was delicious I killed the bottle I thought I was gonna like have a couple glasses and I ended up destroying the bottle uh, and it went really well with the cigar I was smoking too by the way anyway let's get into this on the nose so media, immediately I get this kind of uh, blackberry thing going on with like kind of like a bitter, like bitter seeds going on here too. There's also um, a little bit of a black currant thing here too. Definitely like some um, new leather and also a little bit of a, uh, something herbal here too. I'm also getting black plum here too and then like a little bit of like coffee grounds on the nose. And there's something purple here, something purple, like maybe, I don't know if it's floral, something like that, but it's like something purple that's just jumping out and I don't know how to put, pinpoint it, but it's there. There's also a bit of a, a sage component here too. Anyway, let, with all, all that being said, let's go ahead and see what's going on in the palette and see if everything's translating. On the palette. This is delicious. It's um, very fleshy fruit going on here. Um, that black plum, it's a little bit, uh, it's perfectly ripe. It's, uh, the first thing that's hitting my palate, which is interesting. Didn't expect that from the nose. Um, there's also that blackberry thing that's kicking in more in the third quarter to the finish. And there's a spice kick on the finish too, which is delicious. I, I'm digging it. It makes it a little bit more complex. Let's talk about structure. Tannins are medium. Tannins are medium to medium plus. They're like kind of on the edge there. This does have a very dry and grippy thing around the around the uh, teeth. Um, finish is quite long. Acid is medium. Um, yeah, man, this is well balanced. This is like kind of like on a medium body, uh, like uh, Bordeaux blend style. Uh, kind of like reminds me of like more like right bank a little bit, not full body, but like more medium plus body. Uh, but look, it has a little umph in the structure. That's of course that's where the that's why this is fifty percent um, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, but everything's very well very well versed on the palate and it's very seamless on the palate. Try a little bit more. In the mid palate, you get kind of like green herb, eucalyptus, kind of sagey thing going on uh, there too. I like this wine quite a bit. And this is a nice little Bordeaux blend come out of Mexico. Um, if I'm rating this, stay tuned. Wine Wednesday will be right back. Check out my online store, fruitandglassgear.etsy.com, where all the gear is wine inspired. Um, I would think you'll love it. It's comfortable and just check it out. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. I'm, I'm gonna put it at about 88 plus. 
Um, yeah, about 88 plus. No, let's let's go 88. I don't want to go 88 plus because I'm just I've had a good day and I'm, I've been drinking, so I don't want to cloud overshadow uh, my tasting with how great of a day it's been. So let's be let's keep it at 88, um, a solid 88 here. Um, I recommend this if you can get your hands on this wine, definitely do it. Again, this is the Don Luis uh, Seto. Uh, at a Gua uh, Val de Guadalupe, uh, Baja, Mexico, 2017 Terra, and um, or Terra 2017, which is vintage. Um, and uh, let me see. Question of the day. Oh, forgot to tell you guys. Had an amazing time at the cigar bar last week, um, and I uh, hope you guys get a chance to go check that out. Have a lot more coming to you next week uh, when I get back. Uh, I will try to do a wine sale of the week. I'm not sure I'm going to do that, but I'm, I'm letting you know that I'm going to try to have that set up for Friday. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And um, question of the day. Uh, whew, I got a good one. We're going to do a versus. Um, if we're talking about Bordeaux varietals, and you know, there's five different ones, six really, but like we, we talk about five. Um, what is your favorite varietal between Cabernet Franc? and Merlot. Guys, hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Until next time, cheers. Also, after letting this kind of like open up a little bit, um, this Bordeaux varietal or Bordeaux blend from uh, Mexico, I'm getting this kind of cool like uh, wild raspberry thing going on and it's like, it's really poking its head and it's, it's delicious. So yeah, another uh, fruit to add to the complexity of this amazing wine. Cheers.